brought to us by the Toei Company. Today we're going to be talking about Karate Bullfighter, also known as Champion of Death, that's based on the manga Karate Baka Ichidai and is the first part of a three movie series known as Karate for Life. So this story is based on a true story of a Korean karate master and Sonny Chiba, the actor that plays him, is actually a former student of his. You may know Sonny better for his role in Kill Bill or in any of his other 213 credits on IMDb. Karate Bullfighter is typically categorized as action, adventure, martial arts, and is about a karate master trying to live an honorable life. And this is how we meet our main character. Walking in, looking like he don't belong, and finishing up his meatball sub. I was a little past halfway through the movie and it started to hit you on another level. This movie got much deeper than I would have ever guessed and is such an amazing depiction of character. And for that reason, I think Karate Bullfighter from 1975 is a great martial arts movie and is definitely worth your time to watch. One thing I really liked about this movie is that it's really just about a karate master that loves karate and just wants to kick ass. This guy lives for karate. And I like how it's normal to settle your issues by fighting. But what's up with the title? Well, our main character does fight a bull, even though it seems to not have to do much with the movie. It probably just sounded like a really cool title. Now, there are a couple of things that might turn people off. There's a rape scene, and of course, this guy beats up a bull. But, I mean, what do you expect from the karate bullfighter? As for the structure of the story, there's not really any prominent goal that carries the movie from the beginning to end. At times, I hoped for such a connection because I felt like we were just watching this guy live his life. But as the movie went on, it was weird because just watching this guy's life was extremely satisfying. And I think that had a lot to do with Sonny Chiba's performance. When you walk out of the film thinking that the guy you saw in the movie is actually that guy, then you know the actor did a good job. And the story doesn't always make progress from one scene to the next, and that's okay, but one aspect I didn't like were all the coincidences that were thrown in there to keep our attention. Like, I guess we got lucky our main character was in the right place at the right times, because some of these scenes, some big moments that changed the direction of the movie in a major way would have never happened if our main character just didn't happen to be there. And this is one of the rare movies that brought some emotion out of me though. The emotions kind of opened me up and broke the ice and that pulled me in deeper into the story and totally had me invested in this guy's journey. All in all, job well done to director, and I hope I don't butcher this, directed by Kazuhiko Yamaguchi, written by Norifumi Suzuki, and of course, we get the great performance by Sonny Chibo. And if anyone's still watching this video, thank you so much. Help me out. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. I gotta go. I'll see you later.